Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before Him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. The one who holds and names the stars loves you beyond measure, far more than anything else throughout creation. Heavenly Father, my ever-present help in trouble, your word invites me to cast all my anxiety on you because you care for me. Some days, my battle with worries and anxieties is a mountain I just can't seem to climb. Help me tonight to take hold of the assurance you give that you love me and will never leave me. You will do what is best in all my situations at just the right time. In his sermon in Matthew 6, 25 to 27, Jesus says, I tell you, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Worry is a powerful force. It can easily take over our whole lives. There is, after all, much to be worried about. Our loved ones our provisions, our future, our health. When Jesus taught on worry, he did so to reassure us, because he understands how destructive it can be. His lesson directed us to look outwards, away from ourselves, to learn from God's creation around us. Look at the birds, he said. How do they get what they need each day? Your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Did Jesus die on the cross to save birds? Of course not. He sacrificed himself for you. How infinite your value is to him. How he loves you how he would even forfeit his own life to make you his own. Yes, you have great value. If God is prepared to meet the needs of the rest of his creation, he will most certainly provide for you. Romans 8.32 asks, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Take a moment to rest in the reassurance of this truth. As we turn to prayer, 
consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Rest now in the sanctuary of God's presence where he is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the lesson of creation. Thank you that each day shows your hand at work. And Jesus' sacrifice for me proves that you love me. So I choose to entrust my worries and deepest fears to you. Father, forgive me for wrestling control away from you and trying to sort things out for myself. I know this only increases my stress and anxiety. Instead, increase my faith in you. Today and tomorrow are entirely in your hands. In Matthew 11, 28 to 30, Jesus invites us to bring our every care and burden to him, saying, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you go before me into tomorrow, fulfilling your purposes and revealing your goodness. Grant me your peace that surpasses all understanding as I sleep tonight, knowing that you are looking after every aspect of my life. You have given me Jesus. You will meet all my other needs too. Amen. <laughs>